All of us collectors had that little pet peeve that really sends us off the edge. So I thought I'd ask the XS Gaming Podcast group page, what are some of your pet peeves when it comes to collecting? Let's see what they had to say. Now the first person that had to respond was my friend Dan who said simply, people. <laughs> That's probably my favorite response out of everybody. People, that's his biggest pet peeve. <laughs> Next is from Aaron Reviewer. He says, people that keep games sealed. Next up, you have Ross the Boss. He says, those damn new Goodwill price stickers. They're way, way more adhesive and surface area to remove for a nice, clean cover look. Next up is from BioPhoenix, my friend Chris, he says, people that buy just a show and don't intend on playing it. Also fanboys, but that's a given. Steven says, slabbing, people that pay entirely too much money for some random guys to give it a VGA grade, slap the game in a plastic box and send it back. What a fucking waste of both a good game and of money. Next up's from Rick Masters, he says, disc only. <laughs> Mark says, people buying hard to get games, not for themselves, but just to sell. Damn scalpers, that's what I picture him doing. Picture him shaking his fist in the air. Ryan King says, Craigslist dipshits. Sean says, high prices, scalpers, resellers, VGA rating system. Logan said, people that buy games just to say, hey, look, what I have, it's rare. Then I ask, how how fun is it? In the person, silence. Another pet peeve of mine are sealed collectors. Games are meant to be played. And he put a hashtag on that. And to all of the jerk resellers who are into the hobby just to make a profit. Tyler Good says, buying a used game that has a lot of scratches on the disc and can't play. And Jared says, I would have to say resellers, but not all resellers in general. I hate the ones, I'm sure everyone has a run across them, where they get a great deal on a video game or a video game related item and purchase every one of the store has. And you see them in line with what you're looking for, knowing that they're just going to go home and throw them on eBay or Amazon. This is true if you collected Amiibos when they first started coming out. And I have to say I agree with everyone. All your pet peeves, I, I definitely empathize with what you guys are talking about. I I can't stand people that just buy games just because of the rarity. They have no intention of playing the games. I don't understand why you would soak so much money into a hobby for a virtual high five or just bragging rights. I don't understand that. Uh, sealed games, uh, to me, I personally, I, I can't do sealed games. I love to play video games. So again, if I'm putting money towards something, I don't want to have it sealed. I, I want to play it. Um, now, I do want to say that one thing with collecting is there's no right or wrong way. So, you know, if someone is a sealed collector, if that's your thing, that's cool. Whatever floats your boat. But me personally, can't do it. One of my pet peeves, though, and I'm surprised no one's talked about it, is people who don't take care of their games, and they try to sell it to you. Uh, point and taken, I mean, of course, we have, you know, disc with scratches on it, or disc only, or maybe a cart with a peeled label or something like that. That's one thing. But when you have consoles that look nasty, they look grubby, you have controllers that have you know, dirt and just nastiness in the cracks and they try to sell it to you. I remember I was in a group page and someone was selling Xbox uh, controllers that had, it was like a clear controller and it had like dead roaches in it. Like seriously, take pride in your in your hobby and take care of your, your stuff, you know. If you're trying to sell something to somebody, don't do that. And better yet, if you're going to ship something, that's another big pet peeve of mine. Make sure you package everything well. I mean, you don't have to do it like perfectly great, but you know, don't use the box of a Super Nintendo game as the box to ship the game. I've seen that happen. Also, you know, packing peanuts, grocery bags, 
a zip blowed up ziplock bag something to, to, keep, to keep the cartridge or to keep the jewel case from you know shaking around or getting busted really really take pride in that I mean it's it's customer service that's all it is It's customer service treat people the way you would like to be treated if you want to buy a video game that's roach infested with puke all inside the controller that's good for you me personally that's fucking gross don't do that um I don't understand disc only you know I'm with Rick on that I don't understand what's so hard about keeping a jewel case or keeping a DV case I know some people when they buy games they just throw all the cases away and throw everything in a CD wallet but tell you the truth after a while that actually destroys the disc because it's nothing but paper and it starts to scratch it after a while so do yourself a favor uh, put the jewel cases up put put the DVD cases up just don't don't get rid of it. Don't get it cannot be replaced unless you're on the coverproject.net, which I've been doing for some of my uh, disc-based games I find out in the wild. Because uh, you know, about four or five years ago, when I'd go out in the wild and I'd see a game that was disc only, I wouldn't buy it. But now, since I found the coverproject.net, I can actually print out covers and put them in DVD cases or CD cases and actually have the game the way I want it. So. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of pet peeves. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of people that are just in it for the attention. They're in it for the profit. I think if you're into video game collecting for a profit, I think you're. I think that's a really, really dumb idea because the game prices fluctuate. You know, buy games because you like them. Don't just buy them because they're rare. And a lot of rare games are not that great games anyway. <laughs> Say the honest truth. So unless you're looking for that virtual high five, that virtual group hug, that self-esteem boost from someone on the other side of the world, it's kind of pointless. Just enjoy playing video games. Just enjoy it. But yeah, guys, what are some of your collecting pet peeves? I'd love, I'd love to hear from you guys. And also, if you're not a part of the Access Game Podcast group page on Facebook, I will have a link below so you guys can join that. Uh, it's a great community. Also, I know a lot of new people, when they join, they might have their own YouTube channel or podcast or blog. And they're always kind of reluctant about sharing their own content. I'm telling you guys, share away. If you make a new video, if you have a new podcast, if you wrote a blog on gaming or anime or anything like that, be sure to share on the page. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm pretty sure the rest of the people in the community would love to hear from you too. As always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming. Can't get enough of Excess Gaming Podcast? Be sure to check out our audio podcast on podomatic.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes. And if you have a YouTube channel or podcast you'd like to share, be sure to check us out on Facebook on our group page and join the community. As always, guys, thank you so much for all the support and happy gaming.